You know, the reason I bought the TCL C755 or again the C805 is because exactly what you see here. It has all the features that I actually wanted in a single TV. You know, ALM for low latency, HDMI 2.1, and Okio great speakers, uh, Dolby Vision, FreeSync, 144 MHz, and on and on. It's J10 Plus, IMAX Enhanced. It runs on Google TV, basically everything I wanted, and it came in 50 inch. Yeah, that's what I wanted actually. I, I wouldn't take 55 because it's just too big for the distances I'm actually at. Now, first, I'm also uh, uh, rocking a regular display and enjoying playing with it. Again, that's what I did most of the time. But I wanted TV to watch, again, TV series, uh, movies, but also games, especially when I'm using the PlayStation 5. I also wanted probably to use it also as a kind of a big screen for video editing and other things and probably going to use lots of uh, static uh, user interfaces kind of uh, stay on the screen that's one of the reasons i didn't want actually to go with oled uh kind of I don't know, uh, worry about burning uh, if i decide to do so and of course i wanted high contrast something that will differ from my uh, ips uh, panel that i'm actually using and because this screen also uses not just qled by but also a mini led but also uh, VA panel, the contrast is absolutely fantastic. So if you ask me, if, well, dude, what are the things you dislike the most about the display? Well, there are a few. First of all, uh, is vertical banding, and one person mentioned that they can see, they cannot see vertical banding, so it's clear for them. So it might be the uh, uh, a thing, but you know, if I get a second display and I still have it, um, and I read it's kind of um, inherited because of the VA panel, so I don't know again how it actually goes if you can get you know what are the chances for you to get a very clear display well it's a big issue well uh, that's it like that that uh, let's say more than 95 percent of what i use i don't actually notice uh these things at all um i notice it usually in kind of a gray uh, dark gray areas even then kind of something that's more greenish dark gray where it's uh, visible and again you need to play a game that has it a lot and quite consistently in order for it to maybe bother you so then it will be visible it won't take for them you know over the entire experience but it will be visible to some extent and if this is a game that has a lot of it maybe it can be like a very dark game like dark souls game where you have lots of uh, uh, dark areas uh, and even then it has to be solid colors more or less rather than something that is you know detailed environment in detailed environment you barely see anything but if it's kind of a more solid uh, color you'll notice it that's why even if you play for example uh, bloodborne so you probably will show me show me where well here it is this is actually where i actually find it the most annoying and this is just in this particular spot where there's lots of kind of solid color it's more gradient but it's kind of solid color in most part less detail and you can see it there on the right side kind of two very close uh, kind of columns and are brighter than the areas even one on the left you can see there it's actually throughout but uh, there are more columns but are less visible the other ones are brighter these are more prominent but other one exists again it's from the phone so i can't really say uh, you know how close is it what i've seen but the left side and the right side you can clearly see that that it's there i mean you can see the other ones if you pay attention and you know more they are there but if you go outside for anything else, you don't notice it at all. Uh, it's just non-existent, basically. Uh, it's only in that particular situation. Or if you really try hard just to look at it, you know what people say sometimes, you know, if you really kind of stuck and you want to be bothered by it, it will bother you. Uh, but again, in most situations, you won't even notice it. So, for example, in a kind of relatively dark game, like a, a Bloodborne, for example, uh, you again, you won't notice it almost at all. Uh, I mean, some situation, but this is because, again, the world is very, very detailed. So, I mean, unless you really kind of, uh, well, abusing yourself to find it, you'll find it. The other thing, second thing, is artifacts, uh, where you see it mostly when you have move, fast-moving scenes. They can f solve it with uh, improved uh, firmware uh, that kind of improve the algorithm. But you can even remove it completely so you won't notice it if you put the judder reduction to 5 or below. Uh, even maybe use, I tried also reducing into just using uh, Dolby something else instead of Dolby IQ. Uh, that also helps as well. Uh, but again, uh, this is something that um, the, we, I can see them solving this with uh, improved algorithm later on. 
The thing is that in most situations I really don't like it higher, especially when watching movies because just give this kind of a soap opera effect, so usually that's what I do, I put it lower. So for me it's not kind of uh, a big uh, a problem in most of the content that I actually consume. Most of con all the content I consume, I have no problem with it. But something to note, uh, again, that, that you're going to see some judder maybe on, you know, using default settings. The third thing, again, it really doesn't bother me, but there are really slightly tiny, non-existent almost, I can say, kind of a vignette. But really, it's so tiny, so small, you, you won't notice it. Seriously, just very, very, very tiny. I think you can actually see it maybe a bit exaggerated because of the phone that I'm recording with. Uh, but again, really doesn't bother me at all. This is a very, very slight vignette. Tiny. So I'm going to say tiny. You can actually, I think, see it here. We've got the corners, very, very tiny vignette. As other people mentioned it on my channel. So you know, something probably common on the TCL C755. Now, that's basically the issues that I have, if I can call it. And most suggestions are not even issues. Uh, but this is something to note if you are planning to buy it and maybe some of, them, some of those things will bother you. Depends on what you're going to use the screen and you know what the other alternatives you are considering. Um, but overall, for me, these are really non-issues that, uh, I mean, really, except for the vertical bending that probably for some games it will be more prominent. And maybe there's going to be a game that will be say, well, I'm not going to play this on the screen. I'm going to go for my uh, computer and my gaming uh, uh, display and play there which is much smaller of course other than that uh, I think I won't have any issues whatsoever but other than that there's so many amazing things that just makes this game uh, this uh, this game this display amazing the colors are beautiful they super sharp uh, everything when it comes to HDR content looks incredible it's so bright it's just a beautiful screen everything just pops beautifully we are playing games watching movies tv series everything just translates into a fantastic uh, and beautiful viewing experience also the sound from the onkyo speaker is incredible i mean I, I can't really compare it to anything else right now i mean i wanted to bring the speakers from the other room and bring them into the living room and put it there instead of but i told myself well i'm actually enjoying it it's great so I didn't change anything. I and mean, of course I can compare it to listening with uh, headphones or with my external speaker that I have in the other room, but I like the sound, so I didn't have any problem, so I stayed with it. I mean, I didn't expect any uh, mind-blogging sad bass, you know, in the aspect, but again, bass was there, midway there, really accurate sound, and I can listen to, to the sound that people speak, what they said, it's accurate, I can understand, what they are saying and yeah i'm satisfied with it let's say it like that now in terms of response time when it comes to you know using the control i mean uh there's a lm available now i really didn't benchmark it but i play a souls game with it so i mean it was fine so i don't know what to say uh, for me it works fine maybe some other people kind of are more sensitive to even super response i don't know i for me it was fine in the playing souls game so yeah so overall, again, a fantastic screen for me. Again, it was all the things that I wanted in a single one. Some I, I went with others, but don't, not everybody, every screen has 50 inch and all the features that I wanted, and this one actually has it. And overall, I'm very, very pleased with it. Yeah, there are some uh, you know, um, um, little issues with it here and there. Uh, might be some bigger issues if it depends how you look at it, uh, or what content you're using, but for me, it's fine. And I'm really enjoying the screen and I do recommend it generally speaking keep in mind some of the issues that I mentioned might not exist on the screen that you get uh, I'm just sharing what I got thanks for watching any questions in the comment section below don't forget to subscribe don't forget me cheers